world. Like, mm -hmm. I can't rock with that. Like, I can't, uh, I have a hard time, like, mm -hmm. watching that and, like, holding my tongue almost. It's like, damn, now you, now, now you really violating. Like, the danger there is that there are people that are like, Kanye's for the people. And it's like, hmm. All right. Right. Maybe he is. Right. But I don't know. Now, when you think about somebody beefing with Kanye in today's day, you usually think about Drake. But in my opinion, another artist that throws probably just as much shots as Drake has to be J. Cole. Today, I want to get into all of the encounters Kanye and J. Cole have had throughout their careers. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Now, the first time J. Cole and Kanye ever collaborate is on the classic song Looking for Trouble. Looking for Trouble was part of the Good Friday series, and it's probably one of the better songs to come out of that. Obviously, J. Cole's verse was classic. They basically laid out the red carpet for him on that last verse, dropped the beat for him and everything. J. Cole bodied on that song. So from here, it seems that their relationship starts off pretty well. Or so it seems. Now, between 2010 and 2013, not much happens between Ye and J. Cole. You really get a sense that J. Cole is a huge Kanye fan. He has rapped on a lot of Kanye beats on his earlier mixtape. I mean, his first single, Workout, has the same sample that Kanye had on Workout Plan. So you really do see that J. Cole does admire the career of Kanye. But now that J. Cole is in the game, he wants to become a direct competitor to Kanye and that's what happened when he's releasing his Born Sinner album. Kanye is releasing his Yeezus album on June 18th of that year so J. Cole decides to release his album on the same day. J. Cole was trying to have this moment with Kanye which I respect him for when you're in the game your idols become your rivals and that and I feel like this right here was the moment for J. Cole to realize yo this guy's one of my idols, but now it's time for us to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Kanye ends up outselling Born Center. Yeezus sells 327,000 copies that first week. J. Cole sells 297,000 that week. Now, this is when the shots start coming out on Wax. It would seem that it was out of nowhere, but in all reality, I feel like everybody was feeling what J. Cole was feeling when he dropped false prophets on the song false prophets it seems like j cole was very critical of kanye and everything that he was doing and he really talks about the people that he looked at as his idols not being what he thought they were he raps ego in charge every move he's a star and we can't look away due to the day he caught our hearts he's falling apart but we deny it just to find the half-assed shit he dropped we always buy it when he tell us that he's a genius and it's clearer lately it's been hard for him to look up in the mirror lately ouch now i think at this time everybody was starting to feel this about kanye the cracks were starting to show and Kanye was, to me, starting to break down. Definitely don't know what led J. Cole to release this song, but I think it was, he's always dropped music about what he's felt. So I'm pretty sure J. Cole was just realizing, damn, this guy that I looked up to is not quite the person that I thought. Now, after False Prophet drops, Charlemagne goes on the radio and he apparently had a conversation with Kanye West. And he says that he feels like J. Cole is always dissing him. Also, you know, interesting, I was mm -hmm. talking. Never mind. Wait, what? You was talking who? No, um, yesterday when I was talking to Ye, we, we, we had a, a conversation about J. Cole. He, he, said, he said he feels like J. Cole. Remember J. Cole put out the False Prophets record? Yes. And he said uh, that he feels like J. Cole's always dissing him in records. Oh, throwing shots at Ye? Yeah, and he named another line. What was the other line? Um, Something, something from reality shows. He, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, who else out here in love with people from reality, reality shows show. like me? Yeah, yeah, so that was just an interesting uh, interesting thing. And he didn't say it in a malice way at all. He was, you know, yeah. laughing about it. Now, the song that Charlemagne is referencing is No Role Models, which came out in, I think it was 2014 or 2015, one of those two years. 
Do I think that J. Cole was talking about Kanye on there? I personally don't believe so. But y'all let me know down below. Do y'all think about J. Cole was talking about Kanye in those lines? I don't know. That's up for the bait. Now, we fast forward to Kanye having his rants on Twitter. Obviously, he was going crazy on Twitter, tweeting mad shit. Like, we, I, don't, I don't even be going through all them tweets, but he was tweeting all his shit. One of his tweets had a screenshot of him speaking to J. Cole. He screenshotted their phone conversation. I don't even know how you say that. He screenshotted him talking to him on the phone. I don't, I don't even know how to say that one. But he screenshotted that he was having a phone conversation with J. Cole. I think I said it right that time. J. Cole, on the other hand, was not feeling that he posted this on the internet. He went with Angie Martinez and expressed how he felt about this songs for a while but then he posted a converse you were on the phone together mm -hmm. what what is what are we to make of all of that yeah um on which part <laughs> i know <laughs> which well, part I, you've spoken clearly yeah i talked to him yeah did he, you not know that picture was going up of course not yeah no no way i would have never uh made the call did you make the call or he made the call no nah, he called me but oh. i would have never posted that or like tell him to post that you know what i mean I, right. I didn't that made me feel a certain type of way i told him that um because it's private right it's like it just made me f i told he apologized right. for the record it's not like i'm just saying this right but then i told him like it felt like you and it felt like you just used my name in that very quick conversation for for social media and for like to mm -hmm. keep your thing going whatever you were, were doing you know what i mean and like you know i just felt like it wasn't sincere mm -hmm. because of that now was this a clout move yeah kind of like why why you gotta post that like yay sometimes he'd be doing too much kanye should have never done that but let's proceed on with the story j cole drops middle child now middle child is another shot on wax towards kanye west he raps it won't be for clout it won't be for fame it won't be because my shit ain't selling the same it won't be to sell you my latest little sneaker man you gotta love them yeezys y'all <laughs> it must have struck a chord with him whatever kanye was doing like i feel like he really did look up to kanye and it's like that thing where you meet somebody that you really thought was your idol and you thought they were this person that they were probably portraying to be. But when you meet them, they probably just super arrogant and not at all the person that you thought they would be. So I really think this fucked with J. Cole on some real shit. Now, in another Kanye rant, because you know he got a whole bunch of these. Kanye demands that J. Cole and Drake apologize publicly for all the disses they've sent out to him. In Kanye's head, he probably heard a million disses coming from J. Cole, more than we probably have on this YouTube video. And I'm pretty sure y'all know this already, but J. Cole has yet to apologize to Ye. Come on, man. J. Cole, send that apology. Now to wrap this all up, it seems like Kanye never addresses J. Cole on any songs. But in a leaked version of What Would Meek Do, Kanye did have a bar about J. Cole, not really dissing him, but he did address it. You heard Cole on that song, he was trying hate. I am out of touch, I cannot relate. Alright, I think that pretty much sums up everything that has happened between J. Cole and Kanye. If y'all think I missed anything or if y'all know about something I missed, please comment below and let me know. But what do y'all think about the J. Cole and Kanye situation? Is it about nothing or is it about something? Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.